So last time, we found the graph of y equals ax squared will be a parabola opening upward if a is greater than 0 and opening downward if a is less than 0. But that was for our drastically simplified second degree polynomial. What about y equals ax squared plus bx plus c? We'll need to do a little hand waving here. So we might approach this as follows. Since our x value is being squared, then ax squared will generally be larger than bx and c. And so the shape of the graph is mostly determined by the ax squared term. And so consequently, for a not equal to 0, the graph of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is a parabola where if a is greater than 0, the parabola opens upward, and if a is less than 0, the parabola opens downward. So let's try to sketch the graph of y equals x squared minus 18x minus 30. And here's an important idea. When the word sketch the graph shows up, sketch means to show the general features of the graph. So what does that mean? Well, at this point, the only thing we really know about the shape of the graph is coming from our theorem. Since the equation is in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, then we know it will have the shape of a parabola. And since a is greater than 0, it will open upward. So it generally looks something like this. However, there are some details which we have to work out. So let's look at some further graph features. The graph of y equals ax squared can be viewed as having two parts. The part that's to the right of the y-axis and the part that's to the left of the y-axis. But the two parts look exactly the same. We say that the y-axis is a line of symmetry for the graph of y equals ax squared. Now the line of symmetry comes from the quadratic formula. Suppose some point h k is on the graph of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Then we know that x equals h is a solution to k equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We get a second solution from the quadratic formula. But notice that our two solutions will be x equal to minus b over 2a plus some amount, or x equals minus b over 2a minus the same amount. And this means that the two points are right of the line x equals minus b over 2a by some amount, and left of the line x equals minus b over 2a by the same amount. And so x equals minus b over 2a splits the graph. And this leads to the following idea. The graph of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c has the line of symmetry x equals minus b over 2a. This allows us to introduce an important point. Since the line of symmetry splits a quadratic graph, the point on the line of symmetry has a special property. If the graph opens upward, this point is the lowest point on the graph. On the other hand, if the graph opens downward, this point is the highest point on the graph. We call this point the vertex. So, for example, let's find the line of symmetry of y equals 4x squared minus 8x plus 12 and the vertex, and then sketch the graph. So our theorem says that the line of symmetry of the graph y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is going to be x equals minus b over 2a. So we'll fill in those values. For our graph, b is the coefficient of x minus 8. A is the coefficient of x squared, that's 4, and so our line of symmetry is going to be x equal to 1. 
So if we want to sketch the graph, we'll draw the line x equals 1. Now the vertex is on the line of symmetry, so x equals 1 and y is given by our formula. So we find that y is equal to eight. And so the vertex will be at one eight. And finally, our theorem says that if our coefficient of x squared is greater than zero, our parabola opens upward. So we know the line of symmetry. We know the vertex, and so our parabola must look something like this.